Good day, gang. This one's a little different for you. I suppose you, uh, you know I like guitars. It's not that I like to play them because I'm not very good at it at all. But I like to, I like to fix them and paint them and make them look pretty and stuff. And this old guitar here, this old bass, uh, uh, quite a while ago, I, I attempted to do a head repair because it had, well, I'll, I'll show you what it looked like. Anyway, that was some time ago. I'll, I'll, I'll put the date in somewhere. But she, um, she held up all right, kind of. But you can see it has a fault line there. It has a, oh, I'll just turn him over and have a look. There we go. And she's come apart there. And it's, it has had tension on this uh, for a long time. Sunk back in the wood there where I plugged those old holes up. That's where the, that's where, that's the old shape there, see? Um, and of course I sort of found some paint that was close by, but the idea is now I'm going to do a better job of this, I hope. I'm going to change this design just a smidgen. Uh, when I when I made this little piece here, I got that piece from a timber yard or something. They give it to me. I said, "Here, you have that." And I just put some dowels through it and glued it on and hope for the best. And the best wasn't too bad for what a, for what time I spent on it. I did it for nothing, pretty much. Some cheap paint. Uh, and the idea, the whole thing has cost me. Well, I bought the thing for two bucks at like a, a, a yard sale thing. So I don't know what that was, five bucks or something for that paint, or whatever. So it, was, it wasn't much. I didn't want to make it look like a fender. And that kind of looked a little bit like my, uh, my Monterey, and I thought that would that'd be alright. Now I've decided what I'll do is I'm going to cut it off here and up there, and that's that's the angle of the Jackson guitar. I'm going to sharpen that corner here a little bit, cut that off, put a tuner right there, and that means that this this piece here is only going to have have one one tuner to have to actually load on. Then I'll flatten this all off again, and whatever's missing off the back in its width or its depth. I'm going to build with fiberglass, I think. I don't think I want to put timber on it, or glue timber to it. I think I'm going to put fiberglass on it. <clears throat> I'm then going to, I'll paint this, paint the black down there. And then I'm going to strip all the paint off that and bring that back to timber. The body is going to be gold, metallic gold is the plan, and the front of the head is going to be gold as well. And then I'll clean it all up, as you can see it's all grubby and stuff, but once you spend a bit of time, you know, the fresh look, and the strange look. So, alright, I'm going to pull it apart and Come watch what's going on if you like. Okay, the neck is off. I've taped the fretboard. Um, I think the next thing I'll do is I'll cut him. Cut him off. I want like a little. No, no, I'm just going to cut him off. Cut him off there, straight down there. And I'll drill a hole in here. I want it to be exactly there. You know what I mean? So I'll measure that out. Make sure I place that in the right place. I guess that's when we start to get sand and after we've gotten to that point I suppose. And so that's how the configuration will be now. 
We'll pull this all back out again and we'll get the circular saw off, out and chop her off. Well that's the first rough in I suppose. Got that little beveled edge there. Pull down the side, it's going to be black. Thing it off the thing. I'll flatten the front off pretty much. Now it's got to build up the back. Sand it all off before I get, really get onto that. That's going to take a bit of time. And uh, I'll come back to you sometime. Well, I've got. Um, well, that's sanded all off. So it's sometime later. And I wasn't feeling that at all. So I figured I'm going to start all over again with that. I stripped the, um, the paint off the neck. Got some oily fingerprints on there now. I'm not exactly sure whether I'm going to clear that or whether I'm going to put um, boiled linseed on it. But here's what I came up with. I'm feeling this a little more better. What do you think about that? You getting it? Feeling that? Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay. Got a bit of cutting to do. Well, that's the first light fit up there. Just left a little bit on either side there, so I've got plenty of sand. There will be a bit of sand because this is so much wider, but that's pretty good because I'll when I when I dowel it, it'll be in the centre. It'll allow me to keep this nice and straight. So I got rid of all the old all the old bit and. Uh, now I've got to go and find my dowel uh, jig and I'll no doubt run a dowel through well, probably three dowels, one down there, one down there and one, I don't know, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, a couple at least, it's, I'd like to do three dowels, one, two and maybe one if I can sneak one in here, probably should be alright. Maybe if it, yeah, it'll be alright, even I'll come down through half of the hole or something, I don't know. And then that'll dry for, uh, I don't know, I'm going to let it dry for a long time before I even mess about with it. But for the minute I've had, I've had enough of that, and uh, yeah, I'll pick it up next time. And I'll get the dry, dowel holes drilled and the dowels in and we'll glue it up. I'm going to make my own little um, doweling jig. I can't buy one and I got a fair idea I remember what they look like so I'm going to cut a section of the wood off here I'm going to measure three distances equally I'm going to drill three holes uh, luckily they're all six mil because the dowel I want to use is six mil and that will be my doweling jig and I'll put that over the over the top of the, the uh, timber along there one dowel on either side and that will make that hole in the middle. Let's see how we go. So there's my bit of wood I've chosen. I've made my marks. I'm now going to go and drill them out in the little, in the little drill press there. Six millimetres, then I can put a piece of my six millimetre dowel in there. In that hole there and that hole there, leave that one clear. And that should center us a hole in our piece of uh, headstock. Yeah, I've screwed him down so I can run across him with the drill, with the um, saw. Cut that bit off, whack my dowels in here. Let's see how we go, or how we went. Yeah, I probably had, I should have probably brought the, the pins closer together. I might even do that yet. Um, We'll start off with the centre one anyway and see how we go and see how close we were. I've, I've looked down inside through there with the torch and I can see the, the line that I'm looking for. Now I'm just going to give this a little bit of a rough around in there. We'll see how close to the centre it gets. Yeah, I might have gone a bit cattywampus there, but I reckon for the best part of it, and it just, there must have been another dowel here because it took that out so. I'm not worried about that, but that's, I think, I think that'll get us by, somehow. 
Then we'll shape it all up. We'll cut some dowels up. I'm going to use some liquid nails. And uh, we'll put together and let it sit for, I don't know, a week, maybe something like that. And come back when it's good and dry this time. We only let it go for a day or two last time, so it's good and dry this time. Well, it's been a mishap. Things didn't quite go to plan, but we're going to dowel it that way and down through there. We'll glue her up, see what happens. There we go. That's what it's going to look like for a minute. Um, this hole will be changed from that position, obviously. But I'm going to sand that all down so that it matches. Uh, that'll be in a week or two's time. I'm just going to let it dry. Like I said last time, we didn't let it dry, so now I'm going to let it dry. Then we'll come back to it in a couple of weeks. At least. I think I'm, I think I'm going to leave it a couple of weeks. And sometime later, it's about a week later now, it's, um, it's starting to take shape. Still going to fill that in. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. I might drill it and put a whole plug in it. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. And in the attempt of hacking a hole through here, I've noticed a little split going down there, so I've <clears throat> thrown another dowel through. Try and hold that all back together again. But that's, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think we're happy with that. That's all going to get some, uh, what have we got up there? Uh, I think I'll use that uh, over the uh, fiberglass matting. I think I'll just use use that and some body filler. Oh. But for now, I'll just let that dry up. I'll do some finishing touches to that before we start putting any stuff on it. Just got to finish sanding it off and getting it nice and level and flat and smooth and you know, it's happening. And that's the first coat of the Gorilla Fur. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to leave all that uh, down there. It's going to be timber. I think I've been through that before. Paint this gold. Paint the black. That's where it's going to end there. Uh, I've still got a little bit to go before it's ready for a rub. And then I'll follow up with a bit of um, uh, ordinary body filler. And smooth it all out and put some primer on it, I suppose. And be, um, a little closer to the to where we've got to be. So it looks like I've got a couple more little nicks to fix up there. Not one just there by the look of it. But it's coming along. Put a bit of guide coat on it and put it away for a bit, another week or something, and we'll come back to it next weekend. Got a bit of guide coat. And that'll do us for today. Okay, we're going to see where the join was. That's cool. Well, let that dry up. Come back to it later. And we're back with it. <coughs> First light rub. Got a little little dent there. No, oh, that's okay. Just a little one there. Buddy Matt. Over to spend the evening. He's got a swag he's going to set up. I don't know if he's used it yet, but at any rate. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to fill this, fill, fill, fill this bloke in with a little bit of something. Fill this bloke in with a little bit of something. Go back to the time. 
keep the wind away. This is what we call the wind tunnel in the garage here. Oh, I do. It's lovely too on a hot day. Um, yeah. And uh, prime them up and stuff like that. Now we'll just let that dry right off, good. Flies, eh? Um, then I'll come back and I'll, I'll sand all that stuff around that side there. And of course in the front we'll paint that all gold. The mask off here, for that's going to stay timber colour. Yeah. That'll be alright, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's the first coat of clear on the um on the back side. Yeah, we're looking at shine. Yeah, we do. We got shine. Now I know that's gonna sink back. Because I did a test piece on the um on the timber that I used before, I did a test piece yesterday. And I sprayed it. I'm going to follow what I did there. And this is today with a couple of coats on top. And she's uh, she's pretty shiny, so that should be all right. I'll let that go off, and I'll I'll put its final final coat on before it goes overnight. And I'll come back tomorrow and give it another coat. That's pretty cool. Nice and it was before I reckon. Yeah. Now the front side of course I've got to I'll be masking this off. I'll be masking this off and I will be painting up here and under that side there. Um, the next stage, this is gonna all dry up on the top here, on the on the um, timber, on the wood. I know that's going to sink back, I know that's going to want another coat, but that's essentially what she's going to look like. Uh, yeah. Not so bad. Um, gold, I'm not going to, I, don't th I think I'm going to go with a silver instead of gold. Or maybe a metallic yellow. Yeah, I think metallic yellow, get off there you little Come through. Nice day out today. Yeah. All right. I'll let that dry. And uh, that's part one. Part two. We'll get into the silver. Check the later. Have a look. Yeah. Yeah.